One, two, three. What's up my GY6ers? This, th I'm excited about this one. This is something I've been looking for for a long time. And so a company, Ravino, does that name, name ring a bell to you at all? It didn't to me. I get a lot of spam in my email. You know, a lot of people, companies try to like promote their products and I never really click on them. It's like spam. But this one, for some reason, I like clicked on it. I started looking at it. Ravino clutches. They sell them for like Vespas. The GY6, well, Kimco's, which has a GY6, a bunch of different models, and it and it has the same technology as like a motorcycle. Like it has a motorcycle clutch going in the GY6. I'm not even going to show you this right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the old style clutch, and then I'll so, show you the new clutch. But I had to, so I pulled everything out of my old uh, CVT. I painted everything, made it look super nice. Um, in order to prepare for this video. I've never tried this clutch out. This is gonna be like, you guys are coming along with me to check out this clutch. The idea would be to, if we know this clutch works, I'll create a CVT kit with an ankle biter and this thing's gonna be sweet. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. All right, so this is what I pulled out of my 232 GY6. And this is like your traditional setup, the NCY variator, um, Dr. Pulley sliders with, um, you know, Teflon coated NCY variator, which I'll just keep that. It's, it's a little bit worn out, but we're going to keep it for this video um, because I want to compare what I'm used to. And this is my old belt. I've been going through belts like crazy. So let me just educate you if you don't know already how a traditional GY6 CVT clutch works. So this is your clutch bell and this is your clutch. We won't go into like the secondary slider and the pulley and all that. We're just talking about the clutch. So You've got three clutch pads here, and through centrifugal force, they, they open up. They're spring-loaded. You can probably see maybe just a little bit. There's a blue spring right back there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's springs that are attached to here, so these don't just flop around. You have 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000 RPM springs that you can switch out to basically dial in the engagement of at what RPM you want these pads to kick out. When they kick out, they will grab this clutch belt and then start spinning your pulley. So that is a traditional clutch. Let me show you the Ravino. This thing is sweet. And this kit is for a 180cc racing Kimco. We're putting it in at a 232, so let's see what happens. So when you get the box, super nice. Like this, this is good stuff here. We got the Ravino clutch, comes with a sweet sticker and some instructions. Kind of shows how, to, how it works. So this clutch bell is completely different. If you notice, it doesn't spin around like this clutch. You would kind of expect it to do that. But it doesn't work like that at all. If, any, if you know how a motorcycle clutch works, then this is a lot like it. It's got this little protective uh, cardboard piece. So what we'll do, I'm just going to educate you real quick, then we'll take that one apart and build it. So see these um, clutch pads in here? And there's little rollers, just like the variator works. The variator works, here's the variator, by centrifugal force as well. These rollers roll out as this spins faster and faster, and you can adjust the weights in order to engage those. So that's that works, this clutch works a lot like that. There's these little rollers back here that basically, in a nutshell, will compress these clutch packs. See how they move around? And it will grab. It's kind of like I'm pulling up. See if I turn and then I pull up, I can't turn it anymore. So as these roll out, it engages. And then this is more of just a guide. See these uh, little guides? So what we're going to do here is we'll pull this off we're going to pull this clutch off and then we've got this little guy that holds the spring and then the Ravino clutch will mount just like this with this little guy here and then this will slide over the top 
So if you know anything about CVT tuning on your GY6, which you probably do if you're watching this video, you know that if you change these rollers, it affects the way it runs. So lighter rollers, uh, these are actually sliders. So, but lighter sliders or rollers make the engine overall engine RPM higher and heavier ones do the opposite effect. So when doing this clutch, this Ravino clutch, you're definitely going to need to do some variator tuning. So I've got this little tuning kit and there's all kinds of different weights. Right, right now inside here I have 12 gram for my 232. So the first thing I need to do is get this nut loose and it is spring loaded. There's a heavy duty spring underneath there. There is a special tool for that, but uh, I didn't use it of course. So I've removed my stock clutch. I don't need that anymore. Here's my spring. I'm going to put that back on just the way it came off. And then this comes in the kit. We'll just add that to the top. I'm going to pull this off for now. Um, these do need to match up. See that little cutout? That'll need to match up. Um, so I need to get this down. There is a special tool for this, but I'm old school. Just like that. And I'm going to screw the uh, nut on off camera. Okay, now I just need to hit that uh, nut, get it cranked down. Once you get that nut cranked down with some red Loctite, see these little notches here? That needs to, that you've got this, these little notches right here, and they just slide down, just like that. I'm super excited about this, so there, that'll go there. That'll go there. And then we got a little case, ankle biter, ankle biter right there. And then of course I've got the uh, the Warfab case brace that I just painted. That'll uh, protect the uh, engine from cracking with the um, open belt. Highly recommended if you're running an open belt like this, with without the cover on it, then you want to support it with a case brace. We offer a few, one from Dorby Works and one from War Fabrications. So the big thing about this Ravino, like I said, I haven't tried it yet, but their claim to fame is this, there's not supposed to be any vibration in the clutch. As a standard clutch, you get a lot of vibration. And of course, the biting power of this clutch. So it should grab really hard. Let's go see what this sucker can do. chicken look at that so I'm imagining that this just from backing it up this noise that this is gonna make a lot of racket have you ever heard of a have you ever heard a clutch on a Ducati it makes the same noise so this is like a dry motorcycle clutch they tend to chatter like this let's let's start it let's see what it sounds like Yeah, a little chattery. Little chattery. That looks awesome. Let's try this sucker out. I ride this to work for the first time. You could hear that clutch. And that's normal. I emailed uh, Ravino. Um, and I kind of figured it would do that because a motorcycle dry clutch sounds like that. The thing that quiets down a motorcycle clutch is the oil around it. Well, this is a dry clutch. Basically, it's just like a Ducati. Look at that. Dang. Looks sweet. So let's get this thing started. 232 cold start. EFI system up under here oil cooler Ravino clutch 
I think it'll sound real nice with that turbo, uh, with those turbo sounds when I do the turbo. My paint job turned out real nice. Look at that. I'm proud of myself on that. All right, let's see this. It doesn't chatter anymore once the clutch is engaged. So check this out. You hear that? I don't. At 188 degrees, my bike's not really warmed up yet. Not until 200, so. We'll just cruise it. Feels good so far. I need to get a tack on here because I'm working with Ravino to tune this clutch for this 232. Um, they want to know what clutch engagement how many rpms so and i don't i don't have a tack i i go by feel but when you're getting in the specifics you i really do need a tack let's hop on this thing Right now the clutch is engaged, so there's not going to be a whole lot of difference. Maybe a little bit of difference uh, as far as performance, like slightly, because it's a little lighter. Um, but the real test is going to be on a takeoff when we're actually using the clutch to its full advantage. So what I'll probably do is I'll, uh, I'll stop up here. Make sure there's no one behind me. I'll be that stupid guy that just stops at the freaking yield. Okay, here we go. I feel like I should tune it though a little bit, to be honest. Oh yeah, there, there's a difference there. It's like I needed to like get... Maybe from a dead stop is where the tuning needs to be, but when I do this, definitely, definitely bites harder. You, it pulls harder, for sure. So I'm, uh, yeah, I may do a different contra spring, but where this, where this clutch really comes to life is like right I'm cruising like real slow and then hammer on it definitely like I would say like a 70% difference in grabbing power for sure I don't know that that uh, the noise of the clutch that might bother some people I mean if you, if you have the you know the belt cover on then uh, that'll uh, definitely quiet it down but that doesn't really bother me. These rockets are noisy. Yeah, that this clutch is sweet. Um, it's kind of racy. It's kind of cool. I mean, you buy a Ducati. It's expensive Ducati. They sound exactly like that. I'm just going to like ease into it. Because I'm probably going to burn the clutch up if I don't have it right. I dig it. Yeah, for sure. Like I said, 70% improvement. That would be my like estimate so I'm at like quarter or an eighth thr throttle and you can hear that clutch it's shimmering you can hear that noise and then yeah big big difference big big difference people look at this thing <laughs> when you're cruising and people look at this thing like like looking at me like I'm freaking naked <laughs> sitting on this thing I, I can guarantee it this um, this bike gets more attention than a Ferrari may not be as cool but it turns more heads so let me show you something for about six hours of riding I've been riding with this if you look back in here you remember there's a yellow contra spring back there um, not anymore I was instructed to put the stock spring in it I'm really really happy with the way this thing runs um, but of course we're always looking for better so let me show you what it's like with that contra spring because you guys have only seen it so far with the uh, 1500 RPM spring, that's the 1000 RPM. So. It's, rid it's riding really, really well. I was instructed to put the, uh, right now I'm running 
um, 14 gram Dr. Pulley sliders. It's on this 232 CC GY6 with the 1000 uh, RPM spring, super happy. The engagement, I also installed this tack. The engagement is about 3600 RPM. And um, I was instructed to put the 14 gram Dr. Pulley sliders. So this setup is like, ever since I built it, I put a, I built it for not like peel out wheelie power. I don't know if it wheelie anyway, but uh, more for like top speed. So this thing will do like almost 100 because I have plus 30% gearing, which uh, takes away from the bottom end. I'm just moving the power around. So it's never really been a huge rocket off the bottom end. Like when I race a 190cc, um, it's not, it, it's fairly close. I beat it, but it's not like unbelievable based on just the gearing. So that's the thing is like this, this clutch, it takes off a lot better, but I don't know if I'll ever get to the point where I still have that top speed at like hundred miles per hour, which is perfect for cruising at about 50. Um, and uh, the takeoff power that, that I want. There's probably like a common medium. So I'm on the clutch right now. There's like zero slipping, literally. I'll nail it. There's like no slipping at all. This thing rides good. Going 73, probably not like the best idea. But see like right now I'm going 60, half throttle. And there's more. This motor's got the power just it's geared up high for somebody that might that clutch noise may be a little bit annoying for me definitely not I love that sound I'm like a gearhead you know but here's that uh, where we, we went from a dead stop almost a dead stop on the last one with the stock setup let me do that really quick there it goes definitely better it wasn't a complete dead stop going like two miles an hour but And there's like, I definitely, definitely notice, like in my hands and my feet and the motor, my butt, I, there's not as much engine vibration. So like, this is my favorite thing about the clutch so far. So see, I'm like going 50. With the old clutch, this wouldn't happen. So I nail it and you could like feel the, the grab. Now that this thing's hotter than the flames of hell, let's pull it apart. We're gonna put some 12 gram sliders in there and see what happens. Was, and now, big difference. Anyway, let's try this thing. 12 gram sliders. Gosh, I feel like they're gonna be too too light, if you ask me. Whoa, Jesus. All right, let's try this out. This, I think this is probably gonna be my final, my final like setup. check the pads on it and um, if you notice if you look in there you can see the little shoes see those the, the little gap that's how much shoe life you have left just kind of like checking brake pad so you see that little U area right in front of my fingernail got plenty of life left on those and I've been riding this hard for like six hours so this thing's doing real good so I decided I went back to the 14 gram sliders and then I put a new NCY variator on. What I want to show you guys is uh, the difference in weight from stock clutch to Ravino. So here's like a stock clutch, stock bell, stock clutch. Let's see what it weighs. I'll put it, I'll do it upside down. 1758 grams. Okay. Ravino clutch, same thing. 
1260. So there's like a 500 gram difference in weight. Here's something cool. <laughs> My buddy just showed up and uh, he has a Harley. We're gonna race these son of a guns to see if this clutch and this this 232 Ruckus will keep up with that 103, what is it? What is that model? The low rider. Low rider. Harley low rider. I don't think it will, but it's worth a shot. On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Damn, I didn't expect to be so close. Marco's bike's a 103 cubic inch. Mine's a 232 cc. What does that even equal out? I don't even know how to do the math. So I just got off a, like a 30 mile ride maybe with Marco, the dude with the Harley that we just raced. And uh, man, the Ravino clutch with my new setup, perfect. I've, I've been around the block. I've tried a lot of different clutches. I can tell you that that clutch is the best I've ever seen. Better than that Dr. Pulley HIT clutch, in my opinion, that thing bites harder, there's no vibration, it's lighter, but there is only one downfall, that dry clutch sound. If you can get past that, dudes. Ravino for sure. I like that clutch so much so that I'm gonna put a little link in the description to sell it because I wasn't really planning. I was just trying this clutch out, but now I can put the rolling wrench stamp on it and it goes up on the website. So you can buy the clutch for the 150 cc or the big bore. I'll put the link in the description. Big bore covers 171 cc through 232 cc and then the stock clutch is for the 150 cc. So the other thing I'm going to do is a uh, CVT kit so that the whole setup that I have with the NCY variator, it'll come with the tuning kit and banjing the red little fan for the variator and of course the Ravino clutch. I'm going to have that on the website. Put a link in the description. I give this a 10 out of 10, the Ravino. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next video.